Hello YouTubers, this is Adam here, back again for a very special video. And we are at my good friend David's, my good friend David's house. And we're here to look at his magnificent creation, his lightsaber rack. And he's got this rack he built completely by himself. Uh, David, would you like to commentate and tell me a bit about what, what you've done here? Yeah, so we've got the master replica lightsabers on top, which I'm currently trying to collect all up. So they brought out... 15 different ones minus the lightsaber kit. So you're going to have a new Hope Luke Skywalker. We've got Darth Vader, Empire Strikes Back Luke Skywalker, another Darth Vader from Empire Strikes Back. Then we'd have Empire Strikes Back, sorry, Return of the Jedi Luke, Return of the Jedi Darth Vader. Then going into the Phantom Menace, we've got the Darth Mauls. Then Attack of the Clones, we've got the Mace Windu Attack of the Clones. And we've got Attack of the Clones, Anakin Skywalker. Then we've got Return of the Jedi. Sorry, <laughs> Revenge of the Sith, <laughs> Anakin Skywalker. Obi-Wan Kenobi. And then we've got Revenge of the Sith, um, Mace Windu. And then there'll be Yoda one at the end there. So to complete this collection, I need one, two, three, four, five, six lightsabers. And then also the EL Tube repeat of Return of the Jedi. And as you can see here, I do have all the packaging for them. So completely mint condition boxes with all the packaging in them. As you can see for all the ones that are on the rack. And for a few of them, I also have the shipment cartons, which is really good. I've got the complete shipment carton for the Attack of the Clones, Anakin Skywalker. That's not your postcode, is it? It's not, no. Oh, good. And as you can see down here, I've also started collecting the Hasbro ones. So up to now, there's seven Hasbro ones out. So we've got the number one, which is Yoda. Number two, Darth Vader. Number three, Luke Skywalker. Number four, Kylo Ren. As you can see, I haven't made a rack for these ones yet. We've also got number five, um, Return of the Jedi Luke. So I also need the Obi-Wan Kenobi version that the Hasbro did and the rare one which I've got on pre-order I've got a repeat fully boxed mint condition um, Darth Maul I've got a complete fully boxed mint condition repeat of Anakin Skywalker which is pretty cool and also got a random Kit Fisto one there which um, I got really really cheap and um, so yeah we'll do a little update on this collection um, when I've got the last seven that I need and also the last two Hasbro ones that I need so we'll I'll be stop talking and we'll do a little well before we do that david can we just show the amazing people your dalek collection because i know when i did a video on your dalek collection i know my camera skills were a bit shit so i figured before we look at the light up display of your uh, lightsabers so he's this red dalek would you like to explain to the viewers david the story behind this red dalek so the red dalek is an ultra ultra rare one apparently I don't know how much truth is in this, but the story behind it is, well, one, which is true, they didn't make them for very long, but apparently there was a shipment over from China of a lot of them that are made, and the, something happened with the ship, either the ship sank or the uh, carton that was carrying them fell off, but whether that's a myth or not, I don't know, but it is an ultra-rare Dalek, and it's the hardest one to get of the Radio Command Daleks, so it's a pretty cool one, it's really, I've got two of them. Luckily, picked them up about five, six years ago for eighty pounds, but they go for around six to seven hundred on eBay now. So it's a really cool one to have in the collection. Tell us about the right, gold so Dalek. Right, so next, no, we stay here. So this is the complete Chrome Sorry. Movie Dalek collection. So we've got the to complete the Chrome Movie Dalek collection. There's a few variants of the micros and also two variants of the raw controls. So we've got the um, four thousand worldwide uh, silver Chrome one. That was the easiest one to get. Then we've got the memorabilia show from Birmingham in 2007, which is the red chrome. Then we've got the 22 karat gold plated movie Dalek, which was from the Comic Con in San Diego. Only 500 of them ones. And then the rarest one of the lot, which down. was for the Birmingham show as well, which is only 50 worldwide of the gold chrome movie Dalek. So that's an awesome one to have in the collection. Um, and next we've got... The silver chrome one, which is silver chrome movie dark, only a no, thousand made of them. Hard to see that one. Um, and then we have our silver chrome. I've got still got the box for this one because I had two. I thought I'd unbox one and put it on the bottom. And if you look in the back corner, you'll see another one of the micro silver chrome ones as well. 
Right, you and like please, let's not forget the amazing Tardis cookie jar that Adam gave me as well. You're welcome, David. Right, so, Light up. as you can see for this, I put a decal on the back of Star Wars decal. This looks pretty cool when the lightsabers aren't on, but obviously it looks better with the lightsabers on the rack, but I just thought it would be cool just to finish and touch to have that in the background. I'm also ordering, which you'll see in the updated video when I have completed the collection, there's going to be a gold plaque that says Master Replicas Force Effects Lightsaber Collection 2002 to 2007, because that's how long that they made these for. Mm. So, without any more chatting, because I'm sure they're probably sick of hearing my voice, <laughs> let's light this baby up. So we'll go through all the different colours and all the different settings you can have us on. So first colour, we've got the red. Green. Purple, which looks really, really cool. The white, which just lights them up nicely, we just want to see them natural. Let's go through these while talking. And you made this yourself. Made this myself. Built, got, got all the wood cut, put it together with my friend. I like here. how you've got the, uh, if you don't mind me, the green bit here. Yeah, so I put some green matting down as well. Looks like a little mini putton green. <laughs> it wasn't difficult to make either. Just got the uh, wood cut from my local DIY shop. Screwed it all together. Spray painted it. Put a decal on. Made these little dowels. <laughs> and also fit the LEDs at the bottom. The LEDs were only six ninety nine on Amazon. On Amazon. Which is really easy to find. It's going through all different shades here. One of my favourites is this pulse in white. Pulse in white. So it's white light and it just flickers on and off like that. And our next colours. It's just a few different shades of the ones we've already seen. And then we've got this setting which fades us through every colour on it. So we've got the red one, one, the red one looks cool. I think you've got a good variety of colours, David. Yeah, variety of colours. And then we've got the crazy flashing for all the colours. But most of the time, I think I'll either keep going red, green, white, or the pulse in white. So I think it looks cool. <laughs> anyway, no that's it. in the mall, unfortunately, at the moment, so... Well, hopefully in the update video, if you can find some, we can do an update or two of them all lit up. Yeah, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Well, anyway, we better cancel it now because I'm run my uh, memory starting to go low. Anyway, so, any last any last comments? I just hope everybody enjoys looking at this collection. I hope it helps people know what is in the set and helps them complete their collections as well. All right. Well, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And look forward to Walker Stalker. Bye.